Hello guys, my name is Christian Hernandez, also known as Extian Mitra, and now known as Christian Preaches, or Mr. Hernandez. But anyways, I wanted to talk to you today about judgment, and I also want to give you the Bible verse for today. Matthew 7, 1 through 2, this is in the version of New International Version, it says, do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged, and with the measure of you use, it will measure to you. So, pretty much, what I'm trying to say is we have to be careful who we're judging, or just in general, how we're judging we shouldn't ju be judging period um we should not make fun of anybody we should not gossip we should not say specific things or slangs against one specific type of person because who are we to judge and i'm going to give you this example because this happens a lot in the churches and um, I've experienced it throughout my life. So I'm going to give you this example. So let's say you're a new person. Uh, you've been going to a church or you even have to, to, to think about the church. You can be in, in anywhere, you know, you're just a new person being in a new environment, in a new community. Um, for this example, it's going to be church. And you're visiting, you like the church, you're learning about Christ, and, um, you know, one day you just so happen to, um, have your phone, um, on and it's not on vibrate. So you, um, get a phone call and you're, you don't put your volume down. So you forget, you know, things happen. But um, during this example, uh, people are judging you and, you know, someone says, Can, you need to turn your phone down. Or let's say um, during that call you have a ringtone and it's not... A Christian song it's a secular song and keep in mind you're you're learning you're you're learning to be a Christian it takes time to change but it, that one specific Karen um, goes up to you or judges you or tells you something that you don't like and you're unaware of what's going on until you finally get it and it's a mistake you made, right? Well, this happens in churches all the time. We judge without knowing the person's situation. Another example. Um, women have the tendency of judging other women. And especially if you've been a church lady for a very long time, you, you know, you have a tendency of judging and you think, you know, back in the old days, right? Where women weren't allowed to wear pants in the church or even like nowadays, you know, musicians or people of worship, they wear pants or hats or jackets and they don't go presentable and... You know, this church lady, you know, she's so used to the old ways and it bothers her that these people are not dressed the way she feels it should be dressed on the altar and they bring all of these scriptures to you and they judge you and it makes you feel bad, right? So... That judgment has already been made, and you don't ever ask yourself, 
why they wear or do what they do. You don't know the person. You don't bother getting to know them. All you know is that it's in the Bible or you don't like it or you give your own opinion. But in the end of the day, you forget to know the person. You don't know their circumstance. You don't know what they're going through. You don't know if they're even a new member because you don't bother to talk to them. You don't bother to get to know the person. So you don't know their situation. You don't know if, if, if example, the lady in the, in the, in, in the altar, um, maybe she, she just gained some weight and, you know, she, her clothes fit a little tight now, or maybe um, that's all she can afford right now. So you don't ever know. You know, I'm just giving you examples of what our judgment does and causes. And if we don't know what the situation is, you shouldn't judge. And even if the person knows of God or they just don't want to change, it's not our responsibility to judge that person. It's our responsibility to show them agape love. We're, we're supposed to love unconditionally. We're supposed to pray for our brothers and sisters and let God work in them. We shouldn't have to be the ones to make that judgment call. We shouldn't have to be the ones that open our mouth and say, well, I don't agree with this. If you don't like it, what are you doing about it, right? So because of this, the churches lose a lot of members, a lot of people, because the members themselves never got to know that new person, or they don't know the situation of the person or they were just complaining about everything and they didn't do anything about it. So before you judge, get to know the situation, pray about it, don't make other people's business your business. Carry on, move on and handle your own business because remember, when you point fingers, you have four other fingers pointing back at you. And we all have flaws and we do mistakes. So this is why I wanted to talk about this topic. It's time for us to change. It's time for us to stop acting a fool. It's time for us to make a change, make a difference, and stop bringing drama, division, nonsense to the church or to your environment and your workplace, whatever. What are you doing about it? Are you bringing a positive change or are you just the problem? So with this, I leave you. I hope you learned something and I pray that if you're doing this to please stop judging people because you don't know their situation. You don't know their lives. You don't know what they're going through. And if you haven't gotten the, the chance to get to know them, then why even judge them? With that, I let you go. You guys subscribe, like, comment, and share if you like my content. And thank you so much for allowing me to express myself today. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.